The train is the most convenient and giant transport. The locomotive is playing an important role to pull the whole train and control. To power locomotives, energy is produced from many sources. In ancient days, locomotives were powered by steam engines by burning coal. After several years, diesel locomotives were introduced. After that, electric locomotives were introduced. Since then, it has been active. Today, we are going to see how electric locomotives work. Generally, electric trains are not similar to other types of the train, which are powered by fuel. The electric power line goes along the train track, wherever the electric locomotive train goes. From the power line, electricity is supplied to the locomotive to power the train. In electric locomotives, there is a component called pantograph, which connects the power line and locomotive, and acts as a flexible connector between locomotive and power line. The electricity passes through a circuit breaker. The importance of the circuit breaker is to disconnect the electricity supply from the main power line while short circuit, electricity hazard or any maintenance work takes place. The electricity which passes through a circuit breaker will transmit to the transformer which is located inside a locomotive. The function of the transformer is to distribute electricity to various lines from the single main power supply. From this transformer, electricity is passed to the rectifier. The purpose of the rectifier is to convert from alternate current to direct current. This converted DC electricity will pass to an inverter. The purpose of the inverter is to convert DC to AC. You may ask the question why is electricity converted from DC to AC that is already converted from AC to DC? Here is the reason for this double type conversion. The AC power supply which is passing through the main power line will not be at stable voltage, there is a fluctuation at every time. This inverter gives constant voltage to train to power constantly. Also the three-phase AC motor is used to run the train. The inverter converts from single-phase DC to three-phase AC to produce three-phase current. The converted three-phase AC power supply will transfer to the AC motor and the AC motor starts to rotate also wheels rotate with the motor. Whenever the power supply transfers to the AC motor, then the train starts to move. To stop and control the speed of the train, the braking system is required. The braking system is used in an electric train called a regenerative braking system. To control a train, electricity is supplied from the transformer instead of the inverter which is already supplied by shifting the current path. When the electricity is supplied from the transformer, the electrons are flowing in the opposite direction to the electricity supplied from the inverter. From this opposite flow of electrons, the motor speed will reduce and stop completely. When the motor rotates in the opposite direction, the motor will act as an AC generator and start to produce electricity. This electricity will flow back to the source. Here, an electricity storage device is used to store this energy and used to power trains again. This stored electricity will not be useful as the main electric power supply and used to produce a tiny amount of electricity. There are blowers, fans, and light on trains. To supply electricity for those devices, the battery is necessary. To charge this battery, a small rectifier is used to convert AC to DC from the inverter supplying electricity and supplying DC to the battery. The stored energy at the battery will be used to power blowers, fans, and lights. This is how an electric locomotive works. Are you interested in watching these types of videos? Then don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you!